It's our pleasure, Mr. Sorensen. And we're sure you'll be completely satisfied with your purchase. Don't forget, we're talking about American know-how here. I have to tell you, Miss Carey. Please, it's Denise. Okay, Denise. You are quite the salesperson. Uh, before we met, I had no clue I'd be purchasing any hardware at all. It's our job to know exactly what our customers need, Mr. Sorensen. As a matter of fact, as a token of our gratitude, let me present you with this mug. I sold 15 units. Yeah, the whole shebang. Listen, have Raul check on the count before our next stop. Uh, I think the competition might be catching on to us. We may be followed. Hold off. She's never leaving the building. Tell me. Well, as you know, our technology is second to none. Now, with our warranty and our service agreements, we back every unit to perform as promised. But at twice of the price that you originally quoted? I'm not the kind of woman that you can easily take advantage of. You don't think me a fool? Absolutely not, Comrade General Veranova. Absolutely not. But I don't have to remind you about the value of diminishing commodities, do I? Remember, you are getting the last of the last, and um, by that token alone, this is practically priceless. <laughs> Besides, you want to be able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with any man, don't you, or woman? With machinery this powerful at your fingertips, no one will stand before you, no one. You are very clever, waiting until last moment to tell me a price. But as you say, I will stand second to no one. We have a deal. Excellent. Then if you or your aide will make the electronic transfer, we'll all have something to celebrate. Congratulations, Comrade General. 
Your 10 nuclear warheads are on the freighter at this shipyard. Excellent. I now have the power to dictate any terms to our enemies. No one will stand in my way. Um, I'm sure you're mistaken, General. How so? Well, you see, I'm afraid that all of your enemies already have this technology. After all, you have to remember, you were the last one to purchase the inventory. Oh, Mr. Newsom. How long do you think you'd avoid me? Uh, General Veranova, meet Mr. Newsom. Our competition, always one step behind and uh, rather ill-mannered. Mr. Newsom, why don't you welcome the latest member to the Atomic Club? Um, perhaps the two of you ought to get a cup of coffee. I think you got something to talk about.